What's up, guys? We are back in Boxer Gym for week four, currently 10 weeks out, 10 weeks out from the Mr. Olympia. Yo, I am so hyped up because honestly, I've never looked this good. I've never felt this good this far out from a show in my 13 year career in bodybuilding. This is the most amazing feeling that I've, I've felt. The energy, the vibe, everything's been going so great. My mental has been on point, which means my body's gonna follow. So make sure you guys stay tuned today. We're gonna do another, another chest workout, switch some things up a little bit, but it's gonna be great. Get your notebooks out, get your pen out. You got a lot of good content coming. Also, I wanna mention, man, the last few videos has been so great. Been getting so much feedback. So thank you guys for supporting. We're on our way to the Mr. Olympia to get our fourth title. Let's get it. You want to build that top shelf, top shelf chest. That's what we're working on today. Top shelf chest. I want to be able to sit a cup on that. Bro, come here. It's Rafa. This guy. Hey, <laughs> we go way back. We go way back. It's Rafa. We go back to Chicago, back to LA Fitness. When I used to work at LA Fitness before I started bodybuilding. Yeah. <laughs> and now we're both in Miami, right? You're here now? You just got here? Yeah. Okay, I'll see you. All right, bye. So that was uh, Rafa. We go back to 2014, 2014 back in Chicago. We're both from Chicago. Uh, I met her at LA Fitness. She was training at LA Fitness and I was working at the time. And you, you can see she looks amazing. I was like, yo, you gotta get on stage, bro. Like, you look crazy. Oh, shout out Chic Sports. Chic Sports. And you know, we're on that Celsius. I drink a little bit too much because it's hot outside. 300 milligrams caffeine. I only need like 150, so I drink like half of this. But uh, today I drink a little bit more than half. So you guys saw from the first chest workout we did. Today we're gonna do another completely different chest workout, completely different variation. Um, and routine. So stay tuned, guys. We're gonna do a little, things a little bit different today. But always, we gotta warm up, so we're gonna start with cable flies. The muscles are opening, you're letting blood inside, and then you're squeezing at the same time. So that's allowing everything to open and close and be able to contract and get a lot of blood flow in the muscle before we go into the actual movements, he heavy compound movements. You can either go at the bottom or you can go at the top or right in the middle. So if you go a little bit higher, if you bring the cables higher, you're gonna work lower chest. If you bring the cable down to the bottom and you lift up, you're gonna work a little bit higher chest. So right now we're gonna go right in the middle for the warm up. And I keep the cable right at my shoulders. So you wanna make sure we get a good stretch and squeeze. Yes, I'm leaning forward slightly, which is allowing my chest to open up a little bit more. As I come in, squeeze at the bottom. So what I'm doing is, as I come in, I'm actually bringing my elbows inside. So if you actually notice now without any weight, while I'm squeezing, look what's happening to my chest. Just from bringing my elbows inside. And that's allowing my chest to contract a lot more, getting more blood flow. I'm gonna keep the weight the same for the second set, just cause that felt good and uh, I'm not completely warmed up yet. Once I feel a little bit more warm, I'll move up the weight. I mean, honestly, it's not very hard to get warm in boxer gym. <laughs> Let's go a little bit slower and just feel everything. Yeah. 
Also what I'm doing is a combination of two things. It's a combination of almost like I'm hugging a tree and, I, and also that I'm bringing my elbows inside. That's how we get the full complete movement on a chest fly, pectoral fly. We'll go up one more, uh, we'll go to 60 pounds now. We'll go for 12 reps. It's crazy, like, honestly, I was just talking to my guy. I never, 13 years of my prep, and I've never felt this good mentally and physically. I'm only, my physically is only on point because up here is good. My, my mind is on point. I, I went through a lot of adversities this year. I went through a breakup, still going through a, the process of a breakup. Um, if this was five years ago, I'd probably be sitting at home, sad, depressed, not motivated. But my maturity in this game, my discipline over emotion, is discipline over emotion. So no matter how I feel, no matter how sad I am, I still get up and I do the same thing every single day. So no matter what you're going through, if you have that discipline, it supersedes anything that you're going through. Any type of emotion you're feeling, use that emotion as fuel to the fire to make yourself better. So let's keep pushing. All right, now we're getting warmed up. I feel a little bit more, more blood flow and more connection with my chest. So I'm gonna move up a little bit more. Go to 70 for 10. Here I have, uh, it's a Celsius bottle, which I'm sponsored by, but this, it's not Celsius inside here. Uh, it's Yamamoto. So we have glutamine, we have creatine. I have a carb complex called gly glycocharge. This is, uh, is to help uh, keep your muscles full, give you energy during the workout. And then uh, creatine, glut glutamine, glycocharge, and I have amino, an amino acid as well in here. So this is, keep, keeps me hydrated, keeps my energy good, keeps my muscles full during my workout. Hey, if you guys want to see what I put inside my steak here when I work out, let me know in the comments below. Y'all want to know what I put in here. Make a video about it. If you guys want to know what I actually put, in my intro workout, let me know in the comments. And we can actually make a whole video about it. So let me know in the comments if you wanna see what I actually put in my workouts for my intro workout drink. Let's go, we're still getting warmed up. Let's go for 10 here. Good stretch, good squeeze. So I got 35 pound weights here. We're gonna go incline um, dumbbell flies, incline dumbbell flies. If you notice a lot of my chest workouts, I don't do a lot of flat. If I do any flat, it'll be uh, usually like a um, flat bench press or a hammer strength press. Otherwise, everything else I do will be always incline because what I wanna do is fill out my chest, the top portion of my chest and the middle part. So like the cleavage area. So anything I do for chest is always gonna be uh, incline supported. Let's get it. Yeah. 
You see what time it is. You know the routine. When we get warmed up, the hoodie comes off. All right. So as you, if you guys notice, when I get to the top, I don't let the weights touch because what that's doing is gonna allow myself to, to, to rest. So in order to keep the tension high and keep the contraction, when I get to the top, I leave the weights about two to three inches apart. I stretch and then I get back up two, three inches apart. So watch it. So the key with the flies, you want to make sure you're getting a good stretch and a good squeeze. Good stretch and a good contraction when you come at the top. And also thing with your elbows, you want to try to keep your arms and your elbows as straight as possible. The more you, you turn them in, the less stretch and squeeze you're going to get. So in order to get, it's like Arnold when he was doing pumping iron. I mean, he was doing flies with 100 pound dumbbells, opening his arms all the way up and, and squeezing at the bottom, at the middle. So we're trying to move up slowly in the weight, feel the weight, I just did 55. We're gonna go up 10 pounds uh, each set. So let's keep going. Let's feel good. The more I feel good, the more I'm gonna keep moving, going up the weight a little bit more and keep pushing it. The thing is I wanna make sure that I'm pushing the same amount of weight at 10 weeks out as the same amount of weight as two weeks out. By two weeks out, I wanna be able to build my strength enough where I'm pushing the same amount of weight or more. So I'm just taking a little rest, trying to catch my breath. Like I said before in the last video, I don't go more than 90 seconds rest. It's been about 45 seconds now. You wanna make sure you give 100% on each set. So if it takes you 30 seconds to rest to give 100% on the next set to take that 30. I'm already feeling a little bit fatigued because I'm talking at, during between training. So naturally you're gonna get a little more fatigued. So it's like a little bit longer for rest. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's it. Gah. Ay. 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 Ah. That's it. Also, going up in weight like that is a higher risk of injury. Now, as a men's physique athlete, there's no reason for me to go crazy with the weights. There's no reason for me to ego lift. As a men's physique athlete, you gotta train smart, not hard. A lot of these guys, they train hard for the, for the camera, for the video, and I'm getting injured. I've seen it so many times. Guys ruining their career because they wanna show off in the gym. 
and lift crazy amounts of weight. You notice my weight is not ever crazy. I'll never go with my max. The most I'll go is probably 80% of my max because it's not about ego lifting. It's not about showing off. It's about winning championships. It's about being healthy, having longevity. In order to do that, you gotta train smart. Let's go. All right, we're gonna do um, but one of my favorite movements. It's also another transition from uh, a warm up to a uh, compound movement. So I'm using a, um, it's a real leader machine. Is it a real leader? Yeah. Real leader machine. Uh, it's on an uh, incline angle. So it's gonna hit a little bit upper on the top part of my chest. If you go flat, which is here, it's gonna hit a little bit lower on the chest. So the angle makes a difference. You'll see a lot of guys, they'll go here with the movement and open up this way. And a lot making the, the weight push all the way forward. But that's actually, un, it's not necessary. You don't even need to do all that. All you gotta do is angle your, your body all the way to the side, even almost getting your knees to angle to the back. And as I come here with my palm right on the pole, I keep my elbows inside and I push up. And the range of motion, range of movement, the ROM is only probably three to four inches. It's very small. That way I could put on more weight. There you go. So a lot of my movements are very specific and uh, target specific. So uh, usually I'm trying to hit specific parts of my physique. So right now for this particular movement, I'm working on the middle here, the cleavage part of the physique, right? So make sure you pay attention to this area, which is why I'm not going all the way forward. I'm not pushing all the way forward. I don't want to work my whole chest. I want to work the specific area of my chest. Pay attention. A lot of people will do this movement with their elbows higher and push this way. What that's doing though is actually targeting your, your shoulders. So in order to target the chest alone, you wanna bring the elbows down. Look what are already what I'm doing. Look, I'm bringing my elbows down and my chest is already moving. So you bring the elbows down and push up. All right, we went up a little bit more. We just added 25 to the weight. Because the range of motion is so small, you can go up a little bit more. Let's go. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eight, uh, <clears throat> Keep those elbows down. Make sure you're pushing up. Push up to get that, that middle part of the cleavage. I like to hold my hand here to keep myself stable. The, the less movement in your body, the more you're gonna target the actual muscle you wanna hit. If you see a lot of movement in the physique, it's not very targeted. So you wanna keep your body as stable as possible during the movement. Uh, uh. Oh yeah, feels good. All right, we're gonna um, we're gonna go up. We added 25 to the last set, so I took that off. I'm gonna add 45 for this set. A little bit heavier. Yeah. 
Controlled aggression. Like I was telling you, anything you guys are going through, use that as fuel to the fire. Let that shit burn. Don't be afraid to be sad. Don't be afraid to cry, bro. Don't, it's okay. Like, human, it's life. As a man, you have to go through those things. We have it harder as men. But it doesn't matter. Nobody cares about that, bro. Nobody cares what you're going through. So because nobody cares, use that energy into the weight, into the work that you put in. And then the results, that's what the people care about. That's what they want to see, the results. Until then, just fucking work hard. Now I gotta go more. I'm getting myself hyped. I gotta go a little bit more. One more set. Add 25 to this. There's so many people saying that I fell off, that I'm done. That I'm not gonna win this year. I'm not gonna get my title back. It's all fuel. I love it. Pressure makes diamonds. And I eat pressure. I eat that shit like steak. So whatever they say, they can say anything they want. If they only knew the shit they were saying is helping me, they would have stopped a long time ago. If they only knew. You're only helping me. So keep talking that shit. I love it. Let's go. It's the last set. Uh. The last set. I'm gonna go to a flat, uh, a flat, a uh, real leader, real leader press now, flat. For me, it's a thing, like, I, I don't like my weight like this. I gotta switch around. I don't know what it is. I've always been like that, though. My weight has to face me. All right, just wanna make sure the seat is in a good position. Probably go a little bit lower. That's good. All right, key with this exercise, we wanna get a full stretch on the chest. So we have to lift our, uh, our lower back off of the pad. If I put, push my lower back into the pad, what that's doing is I'm rotating my shoulders forward and I'm closing my chest, which is not allowing me to get a full stretch. So you wanna make sure you got your back off of the pad. Look what happens. I'm stretching more. Now I'll get right into the movement. Good stretch, good squeeze. This machine's amazing. It's so smooth. Feel good, bro. I'm gonna keep going up now.
All right, next set. We got two plates on here. Same thing, get your lower back off the pad, along your chest to really get that full stretch. Is amazing. Just feel like the motion's good. The, it's so smooth. Like no matter how much weight you put on, it's still like smooth. You can really push and feel strong with it. But keep going up. Also, make sure you guys go check out my app. Go subscribe. All my workouts are gonna be in my app. We're doing the building strength program right now. So right now we're pressing. We're into our confident, our, um, our pressing movements using dumbbells and barbells. Now we're putting on the muscle. Just add on that weight and put on that muscle. Pressure, pressure makes diamonds. Good there. We'll keep it right there. One more set. Try to catch my breath. You guys, remember the breathing techniques. Inhale down, exhale up. The more muscle you have, the more oxygen you need. Make sure you're breathing properly from the first rep. You don't start doing the breathing properly from the seventh rep. You get it on the first rep. I promise you got two or three more reps at the end. You can do more. Get that breathing technique properly. Yeah, this feels so good. Let's get some squeezing in. Keep that blood flow in there. You want to build that top shelf, top shelf chest. That's what we're working on today. Top shelf chest. I want to be able to sit a cup on that shit. I'm not done until I, I'm able to sit a cup right here on my chest. <laughs> so that's why we always do, a, most of my movements are incline or flat. I'll never go decline. Never, it's, it's unnecessary. If I do, it's probably one exercise. Other than that, I'm always doing incline or flat. We got one more set here. Pop. Uh. <laughs> All right, so like I said, I only do incline or flat. I'm gonna use a real leader uh, horizontal chest press. It's a great machine. It's very stable and um, you can put on a lot of weight, super smooth. So let's start with just one plate, get the warm up, see how it feels. All right, remember to keep that, arc, that back arch, keep that lower back off of the pad, allowing that chest to stretch and open up. Ooh. Eh. Eh. Mm. 
Wow, these machines are so good. They're so smooth. And it feels like, like no matter how much weight you put on, the, the, the motion is super smooth. So it makes it a lot easier to push. Great machines, the real leader machines. Yo, me in the house. Oh here yeah, we here yeah. Here we go, here we go. 10 weeks out, Mr. Olympia is coming right here to Boxer Gym in Miami. Stay tuned, we got some more work coming. How's the preparation going, bro? How's everything going through training, mental, the whole aspect? So my, I, when I look in the mirror, all I see is he's ready. And I'm ready because my mind has been on point this entire year. No matter what I've been through, I've always put my discipline over my emotion. And no matter what I feel, I still get up and I do the same things every single day. And because of that, I'm focused and my body is just following. So I'm excited, man. These 10 weeks are gonna fly by. We're gonna come back with that championship. I promise that, let's go. There's, there's a hundred other gyms out there that you could have gone and trained at and, and prepared for Mr. Olympia, but you chose Boxer to be here and to represent. Um, why? It's the name itself. It's the House of Champions. And I just feel like I belong here. I feel like this is a home for me. I'm up, surrounded by so many people that have that championship mindset. Everybody here is working hard on their own individual goals, including mine. I'm here working hard on what I have to do to get it done. But the thing is we can come together collectively and be together around good energy, good vibes, and we can all be champions together. So that's why I'm here. Well, we appreciate you. We honor to have you here. Bro, right, you're gonna get it. You're, you're gonna, gonna get, get it, bro. It. You're gonna get it. I don't see nothing else. You're gonna get it. I don't see nothing you're else. Gonna get it. <laughs> <laughs> well, bro. Bless, bro. <laughs> All right, third set. A little motivation from Mateo. House of Champions. We're almost done here. Y'all stay tuned. Let's go. We got more work to do. Yeah. 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 Ha! 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 Hey! Ha! 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 I love this shit, bro. Cause I can, I can put all of my energy into this and something's always gonna come back. I'm not promised putting my energy into other things and getting results back and getting something back. But I know the more I put in the work in here every day, as long as I'm consistent, there's always gonna be results. It's inevitable. As long as I'm consistent, I'm here every day, again, no matter how I feel, I'm doing the same thing every day. I'm gonna get results from it. I'm gonna get something from it. I don't know, maybe a championship, maybe some doors, different opportunities God is gonna bless me with. But I know my purpose, and it's to be in here and put in the work. And whatever comes after that is up to God. Right now, it's on me. I'm in control of this point right now. So let's work, let's keep working. On two plates now. Feeling good. Every time I come here, the energy is always so high. You just feel that that uh, you feel that championship mindset. It's kind of hard to explain. It's just something you feel when you walk in. You see those lights. You see those LED lights. You see those black walls. You see Arnold in the back. You see Jordan and Kobe in the back. It just hit different when you come in the gym, man. It, like it almost forces you to work hard. Like you, you can't just come in here half ass. It, it forces you to go 100% every time you come into this gym. That's why you see everybody here working and dying and sweating, going through it. Whatever they're going through, they're taking it out in the gym. And I love that. Last set. Before you get to your set, what are you thinking about right before you quit the bench? Um, right before I get into my set, I probably take three to five seconds thinking about the adversity. Honestly, I think about the pain 
that I've, I'm, I'm going through, that I've went through and I'm currently going through, I think about the people that have doubted me. I think about the people that never believed. And that's what pushes me. I get my mind focused, and if you see my eyes, I got that fucking fire in my eyes. Because that's the shit I'm thinking about. I'm telling you, every time they say that I can't do something, I have to do it even more, and even harder, and even better. Wake up earlier, drink more water, sleep a little bit more, get a little more rest, get my meals in earlier, do a couple more sets, a couple more reps, more than them. We gotta just keep working, no matter what anybody says. Yeah. Two. Two. Three. Two. Three. Two. Three. Ah. 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 Oh. Yeah, that was good. Let's go, make sure we rack our, rack our weights. Do one more exercise, right here. We're gonna finish with some flies on our peck deck. Peck deck machine. You see how far I have it back? This allows me to get a good stretch and a good squeeze. I'm bringing a little bit lower so I can hit higher on my chest. So look at the seat. It's high right now. So it's gonna target the lower half of my chest. So what I'm gonna do is lower the seat. If I can lower it. There we go. So now I lowered the seat. So I can a little bit hit it a little bit higher on my chest. So with that machine, as you get fatigued, what it's gonna want you to do is lower your chest. So just keep reminding yourself, keep your chest raised. And honestly, that's with a lot of movements. Your back movements, you gotta keep your chest raised. Your bench press movements, keep that chest raised. Even for you guys getting on stage, when you're hitting your front pose, keep your chest raised. When you're hitting your back pose, look what I'm doing, back pose. Chest raised. It's something that a lot of people don't think about, but I want you guys to start thinking about keeping your chest raised for your movements, for your posing, for everything. Keep that chest high, keep your chin high. More sets.
And I'm from Chicago, this is a big thing for me. Every time I see Jordan with that 23, it just hit different. I got a picture on my phone with Jordan. You see what he's holding? 10 weeks, 10 weeks, man. Let's go, we gotta work. Last set, last set. This is the Redemption Series. Roll to Olympia, 10 weeks out, episode four. Guys, we're gonna be doing this every single week. So stay tuned, we got so much more content coming. We got our last set here. We are on our way to the Mr. Olympia. This is, could be possibly my last Mr. Olympia. So this is very big for me. This is my Jordan year, 2023. Number four, let's go, last set. So you guys like comment subscribe let me know anything else you want to see or you want to hear from me anything from my history my background make sure you like comment subscribe thank you so much for the support let's keep going mr olympia let's get it <laughs> 